No doubt you're going to see a sea of red downtown this weekend for the Big Ten Championship game. You've got red both ways. You have fans from Ohio mm -hmm. State and Wisconsin <laughs> here in Indianapolis. Our Rich Van Wyk is in downtown Indy with a look at all that's set up for the thousands of visitors who are expected in Indianapolis this weekend. Rich. Hey, welcome to Fan Fest for the Big Ten. We're down here at the convention center. We're seeing the first of 70,000 Big Ten fans. There's a couple of them, brothers and sisters. You ready to go? Yeah. Ready, set, go. I don't know. I think he could have gone faster, taken down more of those tackling dummies. This is a big family event. Lots of folks are here. Everything is all about football. Big smiles. Kids of all ages. We have footballs flying over here. This is the seventh time Indianapolis has hosted the Big Ten game. This year, the Buckeyes against the Badgers. Ohio State faces Wisconsin. It's a great rivalry, been going on for decades. We're seeing a lot of the families. We found one mom and daughter team working here here today. Gary and Kenny Bumgarner, they're making the most of what they call this father and daughter weekend. The Ohio State, fan, Ohio State fans flew in from Texas. They came right from the airport to here. Like everybody else, they're looking for a good time. Well, it's a little daddy-daughter time, you know, a little bonding moment that uh, hopefully she'll remember and when I'm long gone. Is it is it daddy-daughter time? Are you having a good time? Yes. Yeah. Be stoked. <laughs> For sure. It's probably a good thing they're rooting for the same team. Right, right, right over here, we've got the Adam Vinatieri replacement test. We've got a big field goal coming up. Okay, who's getting for the field goal? There she goes. There she goes. Oh, no good. Next one. Next try. Hey, there's lots of people downtown. There's going to be lots of security, some traffic. You need to look out for closed streets. People are set up to have a good time. We hope they have it. At the end, it doesn't matter really who wins, Ohio State or Wisconsin, because Indianapolis comes out on top. The economic impact of this game said to be $17 million for the city. Back to you. Yeah, it matters to those people there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they do care about that part. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Rich Van White downtown tonight. Well, believe it or not, short-term rental service Airbnb expects to break records here in Indianapolis this weekend alone because of the Big Ten Championship. In fact, the site is projected to host more than 2,400 guests in the Indy area through Airbnb rentals. That number actually surpasses even this year's Indy 500. Fifty-five percent of Airbnb guests in Indianapolis this weekend are from Ohio or Wisconsin, which is no surprise given the matchup is between Wisconsin and Ohio State.